Sunshine and smiles were on show as the peloton formed up for the final day of the 12th race of the 2021 UCI Women's World Tour, the Ladies Tour of Norway. With perfect conditions, we were set for another day of excellent entertainment. And even if the general classification was virtually decided, there was plenty to race for, especially as the circuit finish in Halden always produces super exciting racing. Yeah, you have a really fast descent into it and it's technical, fast and you have a little bit of cobbles also around the mountain or not, maybe not a mountain after yesterday, but a little bit rise. So yeah, I really like it. <laughs> yeah, normally a bit smaller bunch and a sprint, um, but I think uh, in, this, uh, in this race this year it's a bit different, but I expect today uh, a more re reduced bunch sprint, yeah. The 141 kilometer race began in the fjord side town of Druebach. And once again, plenty of people were out to see the bunch leave town and ride into the countryside where the flag dropped. Though unlike other days, no one attacked immediately, two women were soon up the road, Rosella Ratto winning the intermediate sprint just ahead of Julie van der Velde. Behind was where the points classification was to be decided though, and here Alison Jackson moved level with Kristen Faulkner. At the front, van der Velde and Ratto formed an excellent partnership, riding well to build a huge advantage of 6 minutes and 23 seconds, though that began to come down as the peloton upped the pace in the final third of the day. With 30 kilometers to go, Ratto had fallen back to the bunch, and Belgian van der Velde was alone at the front. It was not to be another fairy tale finish though, the peloton closing her down before they entered Holden for three tough technical circuits. The points classification was still to be won though, and as they approached the final intermediate sprint, Faulkner, who had held the jersey since winning on day one, opened her sprint very early. Though she gapped the rest of the bunch, Jackson followed on, sitting on the wheel and she could not be shaken, opening her own sprint, passing Faulkner and taking the lead in the competition. But could she win the jersey? One 5.4 kilometre lap to go, and the pink train of Valkar Travel and Service took the lead, protecting Chiara Consonni. But that final circuit was a huge battle and DSM dominated. But Lucinda Brand had placed sprinter Chloe Hosking perfectly near the front of the race. Rounding the final bends though, Hosking was on the front far too early. Checking her shoulder to see who was around her. Corinne Rivera, Chiara Consoni. Out of the saddle, the Australian took a dominant position before sitting down to save her legs for the final dash to the line. Surely she was too early. Others battled for her wheel, but they couldn't get round, and Chloe Hosking held on to take the win. After five months without a race due to illness, Chloe Hosking was back in winning ways and more than happy with the work of her team. I feel like it was all worth it. For There were a few points in the four and a half months off that I was like, should I just go home? Should I call the season over? Um, but yeah, I kept working hard and I... Um, yeah, stayed focused and came back and get a win in my first race back is a bit surreal. It definitely wasn't my plan, but um, yeah, really satisfied. You know, I've done this same stage four times now and I've finished fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever. I'm always messing up the position a bit, so I just thought this year, you know what, I'm going to take it from the front and go early and um, paid off. Annemiek van Vleuten finished in the bunch, defending yellow and taking the general classification. Ah, super nice. Like uh, after Olympics, everything is a bonus, and um, ah, I was quite uh, nervous for yesterday. So it's super nice to finish the hard work off from the team. It was also nice to be here again with the team riding. So I really enjoyed this uh, this tour. I was also not nervous this, tomorrow this morning waking up. If you have an experienced team like this, and everyone, yeah, is super uh, good to help me. So um, yeah, we went all uh, out in for it to keep me safe and. That was the goal and it was perfect. Halden always produces a close sprint and just behind Hosking, Corinne Rivera bagged another second place for DSM with Valkar Travel and Service rider Chiara Consoni in third. Christine Majerus and Sarah Roy rounded out the top five. With Van Fleiter 39 seconds ahead, Ashley Mulman Passio was second with Kristen Faulkner rounding off an excellent week in third overall. Marlon Reusser also had a great week in fourth place with Cecilia Utrup Ludwig fifth. In the other classifications, Neve Fisher-Black took another young rider white jersey, Emilia Milberg was the best Norwegian rider, and Nina Bausman the Queen of the Mountains, while clever racing was rewarded with Alison Jackson winning the Green Points jersey. With yet another UCI Women's World Tour race win to her name, Annemiek van Vleiter continues to lead the individual standings, 
with Demi Vollering, who was not in Norway, slipping further back in second. Mariana Voss is third, Elisa Longo-Borghini fourth, and Anna van der Breggen fifth. After finishing 12th on general classification in Norway, 21-year-old New Zealander Neve Fisher-Black is leading the UCI Women's World Tour Young Rider classification. Honestly, it hasn't been like a, a big goal of mine this year, but obviously I had no expectations really. At the start of this year, I just wanted to race with the team and, and I've sort of just been trying to do my team job for, for obviously we've got strong riders in the team for every World Tour race and I guess slowly it's sort of ticked away. I've had some nice results and, and now I lead the classification. Um, as for the rest of the year, I will depend on uh, what, what World Tour races I, I do with the team um, as to whether I'll keep it or not. But uh, yeah, certainly whatever race I line up for, I will think about maybe sneaking across the line to a, a nice result and getting some points. It's, it's, always, it's always nice to have something to aim for along the side too. Fisher Black takes top spot from Evita Music, who slips to second with Maria Novolodskaya in third.